Cheers, y'all. It's bourbon time. <laughs> I love it when the clock strikes bourbon time. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday, December 21st. That means day 21, bottle 21 of your 25 days of bourbon and whiskey. We just gonna get to it, y'all. Get to it. That's kind of odd. First whiff. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, it reminded me of pickle juice. Um, yeah, still. Still a little bit of pickle juice is what's popping in my head. I don't know why. That's odd. Let's just do this, y'all. Cheers. Spice about mid tongue and heading to the back. Now about mid tongue is just kind of hanging there, a little peppery. Not much of a mouthfeel, kind of dry. Um, yeah, I'm just not not getting much out of this one at all. Um, it's, it's decent, just not, uh, not much flavor, uh, coming through to me. Uh, definitely nothing I can, I can, uh, single out. Yeah. The, the heat's not bad. It's not overpowering. It's, uh, and the spiciness, the pepper, pepperiness of it, uh, definitely not overpowering, but it's just kind of, that's, to me, that's all there is. Um, not really coming up with much of anything else. Bottle 21. Cream of Kentucky. 11 and a half year bottled at 102 proof. This is uh, bottled, uh, selected, everything's done by uh, Jim Rutledge. Um, former master distiller at Four Roses. Um, it's bottled in Crestwood, Kentucky. It is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. However, it's not made by the Rutledge Company. He's gone out and selected barrels. Rumor is that this is sourced from Barton. Um, makes sense. Uh, you know, a lot of the older, we've, we've discussed it, a lot of the older Barton stuff gets sourced out. Um, yeah, just not, you know, for being cream of Kentucky and labeled on the back as double rich. Like I said, the mouthfeel just isn't there. It's, I think the name cream of Kentucky just kind of throws everything off on this. You're expecting a rich, creamy mouthfeel of the bourbon coating uh, the entire palate, tongue, cheeks, everything. And it's just... To me, it's just not there. And for the price, uh, it's kind of disappointing. Um, definitely uh, other bourbons out there that are cheaper than this one uh, to purchase. Uh, hopefully, you know, this, I don't know if this was batch one. I know the first year was 11 and a half year, but I'm not sure if they continued with the 11 and a half year after that. So, you know, I don't know if they're improving as things go along. For some of you that have had other batches of cream of Kentucky, if you can speak to that, that'd be great. But as far as me, for the price point, uh, there's just better stuff out there, y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, please. All right, that wraps up uh, day 21. Four more days to go, y'all, till the big guy gets here. And uh, that'll be it. That'll wrap us up as well. So hope you guys stay safe out there. Take care. Uh, bad weather coming in. Make sure you all are prepared for that. Uh, have plenty of bourbon on stock. Um, you know, in case you know 
your heat goes out and you've got to stay warm. By the way, I'm just kidding. Don't use bourbon as a source of heat, yo. All right. Uh, check you back tomorrow for bottle 22, your 25 days of bourbon. As always, bourbon on y'all.